Today I'll be answering the question, what is Google Search Console? And you can see an example of what Google Search Console looks like here. Now I'll go through this a little bit more as we go through the video, but Google Search Console is a free online tool that you can install on your website. It's available at search.google.com slash search console. You can go right to this URL or just do a quick Google search and just enter Google Search Console and it will be the very top link there. And you can get started with your Google account. Website owners can see statistics for their website in the Google search results. You can see indexing stats. You can see performance, whether you have performance issues in terms of slow website speeds. So there's a lot of different things you can see in Google Search Console. And once you add your website and start collecting data, it will give you information about the top search queries that are driving traffic to your website, the top pages that are driving clicks and impressions in the Google search results. You can look at different types of searches from Google search. You can look at image search. You can look at news search, so you can see all sorts of different information about how your website is performing in different Google search engines. You can see your total number of index pages, top countries, device statistics, video pages, you can submit your sitemap, and you can do more there. So let's look at a few of the different things you can see in Google Search Console. First and foremost, you can see performance for your website. So right now it's looking at the previous three months and it's saying, I've driven over 35,000 clicks now I've driven more clicks than that from organic search and specifically from Google organic search. So Google search console may not pull in every single last click, but you do get to see a lot of data about the clicks and impressions and where they're coming from. You can also see index pages. So this is a separate website, some statistics about the index pages. There's 609 not index pages. Sometimes these are things like media files and different things like that. 208 indexed pages. So you can see your total index pages statistics here as, as well as video page indexing. And this will also tell you if you have any issues with some of your pages getting indexed as far as them being blocked by a robots file or some type of issue that Google is having indexing your website. So page experience, you can see how well your website is performing in terms of page experience, core web vitals and mobile usability. So the way this is looking right now, it's saying, okay, 88.4% of my URLs have a good page experience. 100% of my desktop URLs have a good page experience. 95 of my mobile and 99 have core web vitals are all good. I have zero failing here. Same with mobile usability, no issues there. So when you're looking at page experience, core web vitals and mobile usability, if you're seeing issues here, that gives you an example of some things you can improve on your website in terms of just overall user experience and basically usability of your website. Now enhancements, you can see accelerated mobile pages. This is showing zero valid, three invalid. I actually don't have accelerated mobile pages installed in this example here. Otherwise you would see more valid. Breadcrumbs, you can see there's valid 6,300. Logos, 3,200 valid. Site link search box, 6,400 valid. So not having any issues in terms of enhancements. And then last but not least, shopping. So if you have an e-commerce website, you can see there's product snippets and merchant listings here. So you can see valid and invalid as far as your shopping statistics as well. So to do a full run through, because we just went through a lot of different charts that you can see in Google Search Console, all of the different things you can see and do. You can see search performance. You can see clicks, impressions, click through rate and position. So if we come back over here, clicks, impressions, click through rate, average position. If we scroll down here, you can see your top pages, top search queries. We click on countries. You can see which countries are driving the most clicks and impressions. So you get a lot of data from Google Search Console about how your website is performing in the Google search results, all the way down to the specific queries that are driving clicks to your website. So let's come back over here again. You can compare performance by date. So you can look at two different time periods. You can see where you may have gained or lost clicks and impressions. You can search by different locations. You could see web images, video, and new search, how your website's performing, indexing statistics and any issues you may be having. You can submit your sitemap so that Google ad or Google search console always knows all of the different pages on your website and how they are linked, page experience statistics, core web vitals, mobile usability, product snippets and merchant listings, enhancements, and security and manual actions. If we come back over here and we scroll down the left-hand side, you can see all of these different things here. So overview, performance, you can inspect specific URLs, see if they have any issues as far as indexing or page experience. You can see index pages, video pages, sitemaps, and you can submit removals if you don't want specific pages indexed. Page experience, so we went over this already. Shopping, you can see here. Enhancements, there's even more security and manual actions. You can see if your website's having any manual actions or security issues. They have legacy tools and reports. I don't really use that too often. 
links and settings now when you click up at the very top here this is how you add a new web property so you click on the drop down and then from there you can click here to add property and when you click to add property you can see select property type so there's domain or url prefix so if you enter a domain here or you enter a url prefix there are different ways to install google search console which i will go through in a follow-up video so in this one i really just want to go in through what is google search console so last but not least let's just give an example I can see the search queries that are driving clicks and impressions from my website in the Google search results, and I can see the pages that are driving clicks and impressions. So the main reason to use Google Search Console outside of all finding issues with your website as far as page experience or indexing is so you can see which queries are driving clicks and impressions to your website. If we come over here, you can see your average click through rate for each of these different search queries. You can see your average position. If we scroll down here and we rank by impressions, these are my top search terms that are driving impressions of my website in the Google search results. So when you start looking at some of your top search queries, what I can start saying is, okay, I need to make sure that the pages that are coming up for these search queries are as optimized as possible, as relevant as possible, and as updated as possible. So if I go to pages, we go to impressions for pages, you can see here my top page by impressions is wicker baskets, but that's because there's a ton of search volume around wicker baskets. So I get a ton of impressions, terrible click-through rate. My average position is way down the page. So since my website is all geared towards beach and coastal decor, you can see my pages that are more geared towards beach do much better, even if they're not getting as many impressions. They simply aren't getting as many impressions because there's not that much search volume for these. So if we scroll down, you can see some of my top pages here. And this is looking specifically at the last three months. So you can see top search queries, top pages. So all of this can be very helpful and you can see there's a thousand different pages here so I can come in here go to page 500 scroll way down and you can start even coming way down here and saying okay my page with surf decor and surfboard decorations got 77 clicks last month almost 10,000 impression or last three months almost 10,000 impressions how can we drive more clicks improve this click-through rate improve our average position well we open up this page and we go and we optimize this page so some different ways to look at how your website is performing in the Google search results and you're able to find any drops that you may have had. So you can say, okay, let's compare the last three months to the previous period, click on apply. Let's just look at our total impressions. I like looking at impressions a lot because if I can drive more impressions and I can improve my average position, ultimately the clicks end up coming. So you can see I've increased my clicks actually the last three months, but right here my Website went down for a little bit, so it wasn't performing as well, so we're seeing better performance up here. So if we come up here, one of the things I like to look at the most is the impressions difference. So we can see which pages have the most increase in impressions, so beach Christmas tree ideas. I mean, it makes sense because we've gotten into the Christmas season. What I like looking at is the opposite, where I am losing impressions. So beach, this is just a page with beach lounge chairs, beach chairs. Obviously, people aren't looking at that stuff as much. I have here beach bathroom accessory sets. So sometimes you may see a page that gets zero impressions over the course of three months. What likely happened is that Google indexed a different page on my website with accessory sets for sale. So what I need to do is see which page performs better. Now here's another one, the ultimate guide to nautical bedding sets is one of the blog posts on my website. So what I've actually done is updated a lot of my pages so that I'm going more for these product category pages rather than these blog post style pages. So if you're seeing some of these drop offs here, not something to be overly concerned about. Sometimes when they go down to zero, I just need to make sure that I'm still getting traffic for my main search queries for those pages. So what we can do is we can click on this specific page here, nautical wall clocks, where I had, I had no clicks the last three months, the previous three months. So basically this page got is just not indexed anymore. It looks like so. If we're looking at this page, we go to search queries. So we're looking at these search queries for this page. So what I'm going to do is now we're gonna take this, let's look at which one dropped the most, nautical clock. So we're gonna look at nautical clock search query, we're gonna get rid of the page, and now we can see, as we scroll down here, so now this page is now getting all of my clicks and impressions and no longer this page. So if I do have two separate categories on my website for nautical wall clocks, what did happen is I created a separate category for nautical decor, so my old page was no longer active. So now we have a new page getting those impressions, getting those clicks, and you can actually see it's grown. So even though this looks like it, it has gone down, 
this page has actually grown and we're seeing more impressions over the last three months than we did over the previous three months with the other two pages combined. So not like I'm losing my actual rankings, it's just going to a different page. So you can see all of that data in the Google Search Console and it's a very good tool to use. It's completely free to use. So install it on your website, get started with looking at your performance. You can compare your dates. You can look at any time period you want and it's definitely a tool you want to use for your search engine optimization efforts. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.